Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I just did some cooking for my mother that I'm going to freeze for the week and since I started a new series called See What I Froze Today, I am going to show you what I froze. It's pretty much the same old, same old, but I'm going to show you anyway. So let's just start. I cooked once again for her. I think I have three bags. The roast that I just bought at Rogers. I have two videos for you tonight. I didn't have one last night, so I'm making up for it. I just went to Rogers. There's a tag along that I just uploaded. And I bought a roast, and I shared some of that delicious roast with her. And I just cut it up into... Let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm showing you. I just, you know, cut it into cubes like this. Lighting is not good. I boil it, and then I simmer it. And it gives her beef that she can do whatever she wants with it. She can just have it with mashed potatoes or she can make a beef stew. And she really can make a beef stew because I added um, beef bouillon to the water that I cooked the beef in. So she has two nice containers like this that I will be freezing with beef broth. And it's kind of strong so she can even make it into more. Then I have another little container like this. I need some better containers. I do think I do. So she has the beef. She has two bags of cooked potatoes, partially peeled. One potato here. One potato here. Then I also cooked her some fresh carrots to do whatever she wants. So see if she wants to make a stew. She has beef, potatoes, carrots. I can always chop up some onion for her. She does a lot in her microwave and if she wants to thicken the broth she can add a little bit of cornstarch right in her big bowl and put some broth in there to let that cook. Cook some onions in there. Whatever. And so there's that. Then I also made her two bags of mashed potatoes and then the pasta. I could have gone three with the spaghetti. Three bags. But she loves her spaghetti. She'll always be like, that wasn't enough spaghetti. So, and she likes when she defrosts something. I mean, she'll eat it over two days if there's ever any left. Spaghetti. Mm, she loves it. And then I did three bags of the ziti, which is what I had on hand. One, two, and a three. And that's it. I didn't need to do anything sweet for her. She still has cake and ice cream sandwiches. And I even bought her some cinnamon donuts about a, a week ago. And we bagged those and froze those individually. She loves anything sweet frozen like that. She even likes to eat it frozen. And then I just realized I still have my buttercup squash. I never know if it's butternut or buttercup. I'm quite sure it's buttercup. That I never cooked for Thanksgiving and I haven't cooked it since then. It's still perfectly fine. So this week I will try to do a concoction video and show you the very easy way that I cook that squash in the microwave and then I will be able to freeze that for her too. I can't think of anything else that I need to tell you. Oh, and then for those of you who haven't seen this before, I will update her list. I make her a list. And now I have also added like certain things that I have in, you know, canned food or things in the refrigerator just so she knows, so she has an idea. Like if I say we have canned tuna, canned beets, which we do, you know, she can say, I think I'll have tuna today. So it's working out very, very good. And I, uh, I'm going to continue doing this probably every Sunday or every weekend, whenever. I don't know. Whenever. So thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye.